Hi friends. So this week for science, we're going to do something called discover and doodle. Okay, so step one is you explore the content. So I have provided a video that I created that you are going to watch, you are going to explore. Okay, step two says take doodle notes on a blank piece of paper using the tips provided. So I'll show you a couple examples. I'll show you kind of what my expectation is for this. And then step three, you are going to re-watch the video for a deeper understanding while adding more to your notes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump in. How do I take doodle notes? Okay, so the only thing you'll need is a blank piece of paper, okay, a pencil, and an eraser, okay? Um, and any color options, go ahead and use colored pencils, crayons, and if you have fine tip markers, you can use those as well. Okay, so here, let's plan our page, okay? You're always going to start with pencil, okay? Always start with pencil. We're not going to jump right in with pen and with color. Go ahead and start with a pencil, Okay, um, and kind of have an idea of what you want it to look like. So I have some examples here. Okay, we're pretty familiar with using a web. Okay, if you want to use a chart, you can. Whatever, however you want to organize your doodle notes, you definitely can, can do that. Okay, and this says emphasize. So write the most important words or phrases largest on the page. Okay, so here's some examples. So large is written big, and then you have even a medium and a small size. Okay, write any subtopics and details smaller on the page. So if we were talking about tales of a fourth grade nothing, okay, in the middle of my page, I would write tales of a fourth grade nothing large, and then maybe I'd put written by Judy Bloom in medium, okay, and then anything else I'm writing, I will write small, okay? Now, doodle notes help your brain make more connections, okay? So some of you might draw pictures and add text in there, okay? Um, think making a logo um, wherever the sketch is. So maybe we're talking about Fudge, okay? Um, in Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, his logo might be a crazy little dude, okay? Um, and then add some words to that. Okay, um, it's this one. Next one says be concise. So use bullet points and short phrases. You do not need to include every detail. So you do not need to write in complete sentences on this. Okay, just include the main ideas that will help you remember the information. Okay, so you do not need to write in complete sentences. You can just jot down a couple of words, one word, two words. Okay, and then call attention. So this is going to be the fun part. Okay, so you're going to make important parts of your notes stand out. Okay, so you can add banners, you can add dividers and lines and arrows and boxes and call outs. Okay, group ideas with dividers, arrows and more. Okay, so these are some awesome examples of um, what you can add to your doodle notes. This says try different fonts. So maybe you want to do cursive, tall and skinny, creative, bubble letters, old, unique, fun. Okay, fonts can be used to group similar ideas. Use one font for details and another for topics. Okay, and then here are some tips. Don't expect your notes to be perfect. Trust me, I am. I struggle with this every day, okay? If you mess up, it's okay. You don't have to spend time erasing. You don't have to completely throw away your paper and start over, okay? It is okay to make mistakes, okay? The process of doodling helps your brain even if it doesn't come out exactly the way you want it to, okay? So it does not have to be perfect for it to help your brain. Okay, try new techniques and doodle pictures that help you remember the content. Go ahead and take risks, okay? And then don't forget to add color lightly so you don't overpower your notes, okay? Don't scribble with a marker all over the background of it, okay? Just kind of use color to enhance and bright, brighten your work, okay? 
So here um, would be an example of kind of a um, some techniques that you can use while you're doodling. Okay, so um, it says pencil is your friend when you are learning to doodle. Okay, so just kind of doodling with pencil. Doodle small pictures to help you remember information. So this person drew a little laptop and a book and glasses. Okay, go over your letters many times to make them bold. So how it says engineers here. Okay, it was gone over multiple times to make sure it was bold. Um, there are arrows showing the sequence. We've been working on sequence and reading. So maybe first, second, third, this is what happened. Kind of show arrows or draw arrows to show that. You can add bullet points or checklists and then also make sure to include different fonts. So this is kind of some tall, skinny, bold font. And then whoever wrote this made um, added some cursive there as well. Okay, so this is going to be what your um, notes kind of look like um, once you watch through that first time. Okay, then this person went ahead and added some color. Okay, they added color to their fonts, they added color to their little pictures. Now, not all of their pictures are colored, okay, and that's okay. Maybe just add some color to the important, the big, important, bold topics, okay, and maybe even those subtopics as well, okay? Um, so this is just going to be an example of what it's going to look like for you. This is not exactly what you're going to do, okay? But this, it's going to have this um, slide right here, okay? And it says, watch this video, pause and rewind as needed. So your video is going to be here for you to watch, okay? And don't forget, you can pause and rewind as needed, okay? Um, and then the directions will be over here. It says, during and after the video, create a full page doodle note page on a blank piece of paper. Remember to plan your page, emphasize with text, be concise, call to attention, and try different fonts. Okay? Um, after the video, add more to your notes and then re-watch the video a second time for more details. Okay, so we're going to be doing this all week. So you are going to have time to watch the video two times. Okay, you're going to be expected to watch the video two times. Okay, now after you're done... Okay, um, you're gonna make sure that you are taking care of these things. Did you watch the content carefully? Did you watch the video carefully? Were you listening? Do your doodle notes have all the main ideas that will help you recall or remember the information? And did you use the doodle note tips? Did you add color to enhance your work? Okay, if you have done all of those things, then your doodle notes are gonna turn out perfect. Okay, remember, this is how, this is just something to help you learn. Okay, you're going to learn stuff from the video, okay, but go ahead and just write down and doodle some of those important things that you think are important that you need to know from our video, okay? So we will, tr we will get started on this on Google Classroom either today or tomorrow. Thanks, guys.